Welcome back, it's the Poggy Hive coming again with some more Silver Tempest. We are going to be doing a full box versus 36 sleeve booster packs to see what may have some better hits, what's more consistent, and uh, what's the better buy right now. I did <laughs> attempt to make a video just a moment ago. I pulled this beautiful card, Last Pack Magic, only to realize the video wasn't recording. So uh, hopefully we are recording this time. We're gonna start out with the booster box. This is Silver Tempest Sword and Shield 12. It comes out uh, November 11th in two days from this recording. And so I hope all of you guys have a really good time opening it, seeing some new cards, chasing some alt arts, and just having a good time opening it with loved ones or by yourself, like I like to do. So here we go, don't mind the crazy way I just opened that box. We have Silver Tempest 36 booster packs and 36 sleeve packs. So in order to get through this, we are going to more or less speed run all of these packs. So we're gonna go somewhat quickly, um, hopefully stop at a few good hits if they come along. But we got a Capturing Aroma to start and an Armalu. It's non hollow rare. Pack number two. We'll put our hits to the side and show off both piles by the end of the video. We got Professor Laventon and a non hollow rare Talonflame. All right. Here we go with a Trainer Gallery Smeargle and an Ariados Hollow Rare. So that is a double hit, more or less. One pack in as far as hits go. I absolutely love sets that have a nice Trainer Gallery or something in the reverse slot so it's not all or nothing in the rare but nothing there for us in that pack. A good reverse is always nice too. I wish uh, as we get into Scarlet and Violet, we got something here. It looks like Trainer Gallery, either Rayquaza or Duraludon. I need Duraludon, and there we go. Awesome, so we needed that for our Trainer Gallery binder set, so I'm very, Happy to add that to the mix with a non hollow Delphox to follow. This is a new channel. I plan on doing more content on a regular basis. This is my second video since making a couple in 2020 based on some poker cards. We will be doing more and more Meowsic and a non hollow Gardevoir. And I will be upping the ante as far as my setup. I just got a professional camera and we'll be adding to this to give it a more professional look. And so I can have some fun with it and do this on a regular basis with you guys. So not, uh, reverse Finnegan and a Fion non hollow rare. So we have two trainer galleries and a hollow rare so far out of this box. Nothing crazy, but we do have something here. Reverse Crobat and a Chestnut V. So we'll put that in our hit pile. Still nothing to write home about. It's not an alt art. It's not a hyper rare, anything crazy, but we'll take it. So Ariados Reverse and Verizian non hollow rare. If you guys like my videos, I'm hoping to continue to do them on a regular basis, so please do subscribe and hit the like for me. I always think it's funny when people say smash the like, because what does that even mean? All right, so we're going to take a second to take a look at this Dragonite. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful card. I saw that this and the Articuno are drawn by the same artist. We're going to put that in the hit pile, of course. But those are my two favorite hollows in the set. The Articuno is just as beautiful. We are looking to get some of the Dragonite GameStop promos of that artwork. We got the Esper Reverse and Cobalion 
non hollow rare. We are moving through this box. Still got plenty of hits left to find. And we'll see what we can do. We got Worker Reverse and a Hisui and Braviary. All right, starting out strong with the Dratini. Got Crocorock Reverse and a Noivern non-hollow rare. Right, Altaria Trainer Gallery, and oh my goodness, I just bought this off of eBay. I just bought this card. That's crazy. Oh man, I pulled the other three alt arts out of one case, and then Skunk Tank eluded me from that case. This is box number seven, and we pulled all four alt arts. That is incredible who else can say that let's see oh man that is incredible here we go all four alt art seven boxes and i just ordered one but i really do love it and the reason i do is because of this paris back here i love that there's a whole little ecosystem we got baby skunks back down there but that paris beautiful so that's a really strong box it's going to be very tough for us to beat that from our loose packs. But you know, if we pull a Lugia, we might have to concede that one. That would not hurt us one bit. We wouldn't be mad about it. All right, we got Swablu Reverse and an Archeops Hollow Rare for our hit stack. Ready Drago pack. Let's see what we can do. Starting out with the Whalmer. We got a Flaffy Trainer Gallery and a Lugia V-Star. Very good pack. So we'll put those two in the hit pile as well. This box has been nice to us. So hopefully we can continue with a nice trainer, full art perhaps, maybe a nice hyper, a gold card, or even a good trainer gallery. So Terrakion Hollow Rare goes into our hit stack. We'll count up how many hits we have as well just to see if there's a different ratio. Right, we gotta start moving just a little bit faster. Incineroar and an Earthen Seal Stone Hollow Rare. That is playable to my knowledge and I think that is why a basic hollow has a little bit of a premium to it. Alright, so here we go. Venonat Reverse and a Miss Magius non hollow rare. Alright, Glalie Reverse and Hisui and Lilligant non hollow. Just because I'm speed running these and going through only the hit slot, that does not mean. We don't appreciate all of the other cards included. Some of the arts in this set are absolutely wonderful. Sandial Reverse and a Victini non hollow Rare. So we've already opened quite a few boxes. We've seen the set. We appreciate the set just like this Murkrow. Oh my goodness. I'm a big fan of this Murkrow card. We do have a Full Art and... Radiant Alakazam with a Hisui and Arcanine V. We have pulled this one already, so these are duplicates for us, but really strong pack with the Purple Gang, Arcanine, and Radiant Alakazam. I love the Radiant Alakazam, the Radiant Jirachi. Not super keen on Serena, but Pokemon has to appeal to different bases, so I think they did a good job of doing that in the set, and I think it's right up there with Evolving Skies, in my opinion, Frostless, not hollow with that Litten, reverse, that Litten is so cute. All right, so moving on, we got a Sunflora, something's peeking out at us, a Alolan Vulpix V. 
very cute card. I like how the hollow pattern A goes through the eyes. It kind of highlights the tips, but it's a very cool card to go along with it. So winding down on this box, and then we will get into our sleeve booster packs. I never open sleeve booster packs because I'm super bullish on them for holding on to for the future, but, and the same thing with booster box as well, but we're gonna have some more fun on this channel, opening packs, getting back to what it's all about. And Reggie Alaki V comes out to play. So another hit, we are stacking them up out of this box. All right, got Fletchender Reverse and a Zygarde non hollow rare dog form. All right, starting out with Dratini. I think last time that happened, we had some good luck. All right, Mawile Trainer Gallery with BD. Ah, I'm not a huge Mawile fan, but. I love this texture card. I did not have it yet, so that's a big win and a Metagross Hollow Rare going to our pile. So love a double hit, love the set as a whole. So at $100 a box right now, there is no way you can go wrong. The value is there, the interest is there. We got a Reverse Primordial Altar and an Earthen Seal Stone once again. Right now it looks to be a two or three dollar hollow, which usually they're closer to 10 to 50 cents. So that's that's an outlier, and I guess goes to show you the playability of some of these cards coming out. Relicanth, reverse rare, and a clinklang non-hollow. We have six packs left in this box, and then we will get to the rest. All right, Pikachu Reverse, man. This is such a good artwork. We got the non hollow Zero Oro to finish, but huge fan of that Pikachu Reverse. All right, here we go. I'm feeling something good. We got Dragonair and a Keldeo non hollow. The V Star tripped me out. I was like, this is a thick bag. That's a good one. Not quite. But I think as far as the whole box at this very moment, because we pulled that fourth alt art, that's a special one for us. Serena Reverse and maybe my favorite non-hollow Arcanine. Favorite non-hollow in this set. There's a lot of good Arcanine cards. All right, starting out with the Chinchow, Reverse Braxen, and our Maldo non-hollow rare. Two packs remaining. I'm thinking we get one more hit out of this box. What do you guys think? Spend a reverse drowsy non hollow rare to go with our Reggie Eliki again. Two of them. Two of them. We could do worse, but we're trying to complete the set. We don't really need duplicates right now. Here we go. Last pack, is there something here for us? A Milotic non hollow rare. So we did call it right. These are the hits from the booster box that we just opened. We got the Regialiki, Earth and Sealstone, Metagross, Mawile, full from the Trainer Gallery, Regialiki, Vulpix, one Radiant. That's kind of low for this compared to the other boxes we've opened, a full art. Some other non hollow, I mean, uh, normal hollow rares, Trainer Gallery, V Star, Alternate Art, Hollow, Hollow, V, and two Trainer Gallery. So, not a bad box whatsoever. We are happy with that. Can we beat it with some of these sleeve booster packs? So, I think the ratio being kind of unknown can hurt us, especially because the booster boxes are so well put together. There's so many hits you can pull, but we're starting out strong. 
Starting out strong with a Dura Ludon, we did need that, but we pulled, I think maybe this exact pack earlier in the stream. So we got two hits so far from the Sleep Booster Pack. That was a double hit. We got the Reggie Abaki artwork. Now one of my pet peeves is definitely that the Sleeve Booster Pack art doesn't necessarily... Radiant Alakazam, that's a second hit out of two packs and a non-hollow Hisui and Lilligant that they don't have to match. So for instance, we have a Lugia art here, but when we open it up, we get an Alolan Vulpix. So I really uh, am anal about that and would prefer that they match. But again, this set comes out in two days. I think everybody's gonna really enjoy this set. We got Fion and a Chestnut V. So we have three packs in. We have a double banger and two other hits. So we have four hits total thus far. We got Reggie Alecky. Now I will say, comparatively, if you open these versus the booster box, they feel very different. The crimps are different, and uh, that might be an easy way to tell where they came from, but so far these packs have been juiced with hits, not so much that one, but I think we're doing okay so far. All right, Silver Tempest, Reggie Drago art. Yeah, super different as far as how the packs feel, the thickness. But we got another card here. Oh my goodness. We got a Blissey, which we needed, and a third Hisui and Arcanine V. Really did need this Blissey, so I'm super excited about it. That is two more hits for the loose packs. So I think that we're off to a really good start. If we pull an Altar out of these packs, we might have to call it a day and say we have a definitive winner but it's still an early game we'll see anything can happen we got a slowproof reverse and a zygarde not hollow rare all right rotom reverse and a talon flame non hollow like I said, our luck's got to change because we were so hot for the first few packs. There's no way to sustain that. But, like I said, I wish I had those packs still out to kind of compare it to. But this, the actual the seal here is like thinner. It feels like less thick. It's, uh, it's different for sure. And I don't really know how to ex ex describe it super well. We do think we have something here. Another Mawai. <laughs> that we're doing really well <laughs> with these. <laughs> and an Arcanine non hollow rare. Wow. So, so far, these Silver Tempest, I mean, just opening sleeve packs, I have not been missing at all. Like, I, especially while the set is new, it's fresh, it's still affordable. I think people should have as much fun as they can before it's bound to go up because not only is it the final base set from Sword and Shield, it's a great one. It's kind of the punctuation that they needed at the end of kind of a historic era of Pokemon. I call it the Golden Age. We got our Articuno. We didn't pull the Hollow quite. Oh! <laughs> I take it back. We did. We have now pulled the hollow of the Articuno. The reverse is not that great to me, but the hollow, how it goes through everything with that Dragon Art, be, Dragon Eight being a very similar artwork, I'm a big fan. So, I'm just trying to appreciate the little things. It doesn't have to be Lugia or Bust with this set. And so, something to keep in mind as you open. It's not always about value, it's about enjoying it, enjoying it with other people. We got Primordial Altar and a Delphox non-hollow rare. 
still tons of packs to go, tons to kind of even out to see which has the better pull rates out of this small sample size. All right, here we go. We got Radiant Alakazam. We've pulled, what, three or four Radiant Alakazams now, but zero of the Zarina or the Jirachi. So I'm a big Alakazam fan. I'm an even bigger Jirachi fan. So neither would upset me. But we are one alternate art away from declaring a winner. Chimeko and Fion reverse. Not there on that pack. We got the Lugia. Maybe that's good luck for us. We'll find out. Alright, here we go. Ball toy and a gym trainer. Full art trainer. So another good card. We are doing extremely well with these loose packs. We did not pull a trainer out of the booster box, which normally I've been getting about one per box, but that's not guaranteed. It's not set in stone. We did not get a hyper rare out of the box either, but we did pull the earth and seal stone, the alt art gun tank. So no complaints out of me, never will be. Alolan Vulpix. All right, I was thinking I felt something back here. I lied to myself, there's nothing there. We're gonna mix it up with the Reggie Aliki sleeve and Vulpix pack. Starting out with Litten, Beldum, Reverse, and a Milotic non hollow rare. A little bit of a dry spell. Still trying to go at a fairly good pace. So we can get through these packs. I'll definitely have to go through my bulk later. See what else we had included. We got another Articuno. I absolutely am a fan of that artwork. Right. So what else have we not pulled? I think we're due for a V-Star. We have not pulled any rainbow. We got a Miss Magius. There is something back there. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> oh man. This isn't even funny at this point. There is about 11 full arts I still need. And I keep pulling Arcanine. That's so weird. That's, <laughs> I'm not necessarily complaining, but I don't need you. I did not need that Arcanine V, and because of those borders, it's very uh, misleading because you think it might be an alt art, you're not really sure, and then it's the same full art you've pulled seven times already in the last 20 minutes. So all of these, well, I shouldn't say all these, about half of these came out of the case and about half of them came from another store. We got a ho -O v for a regular V card. They've definitely stepped up the artwork, but I think our piles are gonna be very different at the end about how many hits we got. Jinx, we needed Jinx. I don't think this is like a hard pull or anything like that, but we are over seven boxes in and this is our first Jinx, so that's cool. I needed that card and a Victini non hollow rare. So we're hoping to pull kind of a master, not a master per se, but like a full trainer gallery, full alt art and full, full arts on our own. The full art seems to be the hardest part. We got the Pikachu reverse and an Archeops hollow rare to go in our pile. I think that Pikachu is wonderful. 
We're getting close to the end here to get our analysis, our final say in the matter. All right, here we go. Articuno reverse and a Cobalion non hollow. So that's four Articunas we've pulled out of these packs. And 18 Hisui and Arcanine full arts. Alright, starting us out with the Solosis. Serena. Ooh, something. Reggie Aliki V Max. That is a beautiful card. We did not pull a hyper rare out of the box, but we did get the Reggie out of the sleeve booster pack. So these might be juice. We might have to uh open more in the future if they're going to continue to treat us nicely. So we got Rufflet and a Zara Aura non-hollow rare. We have seven, eight packs left. I think as far as terms of how many hits, we already have a winner. But how deep can we get with this? We got Tillil to start us off, Araquanid Reverse, and a Noivern non hollow rare. Y'all don't even want to see the mess I'm making next to me. I don't know how people stream for so long, but we're going to build up that endurance. We got a Metacham, <laughs> Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Hollow. That's even though that's meaningless, it's worthless, it's still funny to see and uh, worthwhile <laughs> for the sake of the video. All right, Lugia artwork. Can we pull a Lugia gold card, a Lugia full art? I would absolutely be so happy about that. <laughs> Another Radiant Alakazam. So that's, I think that one is our fourth out of less than 72 packs so far which means they are very easy pulls. Don't overpay in the beginning for Radiant cards. They are fairly common, especially in that slot. They are printed highly. That doesn't mean they're not cool. But Arch in Reverse and Archie Huffs. That's cute. Uh, hollow Rare to go with it. So we pulled a few. All right. Finish strong. Let's see what we got. My friend Murkrow, Sigalif, and a Reshiram V. Full art. Yes, we needed him. That's awesome. We really did need that. So I'm really liking these sleeve booster packs, not having any that guaranteed amount of any particular card we've been pulling. No fixed rates are seemingly our fifth Articuno treating us very, very well. We have three packs left to go. All right, and if we don't end with the hit, maybe I'll throw in one more for good measure. All right, Norivern Reverse and a Zygarde non hollow Rare. Almost got the pack ripped in that one. Reggie Drago, don't let us down. Halucha, Rufflet Reverse and a Frostlass non hollow to give us kind of a cold ending. We do have one more pack. For the sake of comparison, all right, Dawn Fan Reverse, a Reuniclus Hollow Rare to finish us off. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one last pack. It's been taunting me, it's been at the side. I pulled it out because I accidentally counted 37 packs. You know, I've got to feel what's in here, the, the juice. We're going to pull it out. So 
so we can appreciate it in all its beauty. All right, starting out with the Zubat. Is that a good sign? Is that a bad sign? I really do like that Zubat, but it is an okay sign. Reshiram V and an Emergency Jelly. Not hollow reverse. We're not going to put that in any particular stack because we're going to go ahead and count how many hits we had out of 36 packs. So hollow rares do count in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two hits out of 36 packs compared to the booster box, which gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen hits. Three more hits out of the loose packs, but y'all are gonna have to comment. Let me know below which one you preferred, what would you have rather pulled, and if you think that this is an outlier, or if you think that's going to continue. Um, I'm going to do some more videos hopefully this week. So if you'll give me a hit that subscribe button and like this video, it'll go a long way. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, especially if you got to the end of the video. And we will see you again very soon.